Tobin Bell's back as John Kramer, the Jigsaw Killer, in Jigsaw. We're rolling film right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Russell here at How's Hollywood Reviews. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, that bell notification icon. You get notified anytime I drop a new movie review, new trailer review, anything new. You guys will get notified of it. So check that out. Right now we're up to 31 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody. Let's just keep this channel growing. Um, and today I'm going to be reviewing Jigsaw. It is rated R with a runtime of an hour and 31 minutes. It stars Matt Passamore, Tobin Bell, Callum Keith Reaney, and Hannah Emily Anderson. And it is directed by Michael and Peter Spierig. And to set this movie up, um, it's been seven years since we've seen the last Saw, which, which was Saw 3D, which was pretty awful. Anyway... In this movie, we are seeing that people are getting murdered, and all the signs are pointing to John Kramer, Jigsaw, as the prime suspect of doing these heinous acts. Well, the only thing is, he's been dead for 10 years. Kind of hard to kill somebody if you're dead. Well, anyway, at the beginning of the movie, we start out, we see a group of five individuals, and they go through these uh, traps, just like you've seen in the other movies, and pretty much we get to see... The things that they have done in their pat, you know, in their life that John Kramer has chosen them for, and we get to see how each of the five people are chosen to be in the uh, in the traps because we get to see that the uh, the heinous acts or, you know, what has led them to be chosen by the Jigsaw Killer. Um, overall, the acting was subpar at best. It was not, you know, you, you go into these movies not expecting great acting, and this one really, obviously followed along the other ones um the thing i did like about the movie was the fact that i've seen all of them and the character development throughout those movies they they keep building this one it pretty much doesn't build any character development because they just throw you right into the story and i kind of like that um i do like how jigsaw is used and utilized in this movie um there's always a twist in the movie so you know Obviously, it's, it's always a guessing game of who, you know, who's helping, who's doing this, who's doing what. And it's really cool to see this because these movies always have that element of guessing. You're always guessing, hey, who's going to, you know, and, and it always pulls the carpet from underneath your feet. So uh, in, in that aspect, I appreciate these movies for that. Overall, I'd probably give this movie like a 65 out of 100. It was entertaining. It was a lot better than the other ones. Um, after Saw 2, I kind of lost interest. Um, Saw 3, 4, 5. Uh, six uh, and the 3D one just didn't uh, really do it for me because I felt like everything was getting repetitive and it was nice to give this, give um, give the Saw uh, franchise a break for seven years and I think that that seven year break kind of made things a little bit more fresh. Um, the traps are pretty much all kind of the same. There's some there's a lot of new ones in there that are actually kind of cool. But like I said, overall, 65 out of 100. Um, if you guys have been uh, following with the Saw franchise, you guys actually, you know, will obviously want to see this. Uh, and if you guys haven't, if you guys aren't in the the uh, horror atmosphere and you guys don't like the horror movie genre, uh, you might want to stay away from it. Just because if you go into seeing Jigsaw, you kind of need to know a little bit of a backstory about uh, the Jigsaw Killer, just to kind of uh, refresh you uh, when you go into the movie. And um, yeah, so I would probably recommend seeing the other ones before you see this one. Like I said, overall, 65 out of 100, and it's something that you guys can go see, especially with Halloween season now and stuff. Uh, it's a it's a entertaining film. Appreciate about these movies is the utilization of Tobin Bell. Tobin Bell really has set this franchise up uh, himself just by being the Jigsaw Killer, and if it wasn't for him, obviously this franchise wouldn't be where it is. Um, I really appreciate the utilization of him in this movie. I, I like the fact they did what they did. And like I said, um, just always always be on the word, look out for a uh, twist because there's always a twist in these movies. So like I said, that that's fresh going in and that's, that's kind of fun. It always makes the movies extra fun for that. Uh, join me next time when I will be reviewing Thank You For Your Service. And until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.